Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, let's find the LCM and the GCF of 6 and 8. And I like to use um, a factor tree and the prime numbers. So, let's get started. Let's factor out 6. It's 2 times 3. Circle both of these because they're prime. And 8 is 2 times 4. And then circle the 2. It is prime. And then 2 times 2. Now, I've just found this technique is really easy and um, works for me. Next, I create a little chart for 6 and 8, and I write down their prime numbers. So I'm going to write a 2 and a 3. I'm going to move the 3 out here. You'll see why. Next, what I do is write out the prime numbers for 8, and that's a 2 and a 2 and a 2. So now what I do is I multiply basically these numbers together, Except I do one thing. If a number is found in both of these, like the two, you have two of these, then I only bring down one number. Uh, I have a two here, and a two here, and a three. Now, for instance, if I had the two here, I would still only bring down one two. But I don't, so I don't want to confuse you. Then all you do for the LCM is just multiply these together. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. And 8 times 3 is 24. So that's the LCM. Now for the GCF, let's work on that. Okay, now for the GCF, if you notice, I've rewritten this chart. And the rule for the GCF is this. You have to find a prime number that is found in both the 6 and the 8. And if I look here, I've got a 2. Um, this is not found in both, not found in both, not found in both. And so the GCF is 2. So, in summary, the GCF of 6 and 8 is 2, and the LCM is 24. Kind of a strange way to walk, write this. Thanks for watching, and Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.